what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome to life with Jeline in this video you will see and hear different persons making reviews about YouTube 2022 you will hear from former St. Mary Festival Queen Peter Gay Stewart you will hear from our national youth director Reverend Kay and our national youth director also from two first time campers Sophia Stewart and Miss Javia Delmore. Please remember to like this video, share it with a friend. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment. And remember, M22 was a bomb, and we look forward in seeing you in Camp 2023. Relax, sit back, and enjoy this video. How could I forget Royal? My ride or die Royal. This race, I came second in this race. Ready? Yes, and Renee beat me. Such is life, but I beat Shelly and Royal. Cam 2022 was absolutely amazing. Yes, it was amazing on so many different levels. It was amazing and it was different. It was amazingly different. I believe that the organizers, Reverend Kay and Powell and his team were very intentional about structuring this camp. It was very well structured, it was organized, and it was very well executed. We had over 200, yes, over 200 campers at the Pentecostal Church of God headquarters in Manchester, and they had an absolutely amazing time. The camp was so good when persons were leaving they were crying because I had some young people from my church. I saw them crying. I was like, what happened to you? They said that they're going to miss their friends. And I want to tell you that the camp was open to just any youth. So whether or not you are from our denomination or this denomination or that denomination, it was open to all. And it was just amazing to see young people fellowshipping, to see them worshipping, to see them just having a good time. I believe that the organizers, Reverend Ken, Ken Powell and his team were very intentional about the way they structured the youth camp because it really was centered around the four pillars of youth development. The activities were spiritual, they were social, they were recreational, and they were very much intellectual. So in the evenings, we had a worship service. We had young people who are anointed, who are powerful, just preaching the word of the Lord, who just radically divided the word of truth, and they were able to relate and to connect with the campers, and the power of God just came down, and you saw where persons were healed, they were delivered, and they were set free, but most importantly, on the final day of camp, 23 persons were baptized. Now this, my friends, is unprecedented. 23 persons were not only saved, they were baptized at our youth camp. And we just continue to give God thanks for this because it's just amazing. When you have a group of young people in one space, not being afraid to close their eyes, they raise their hands, bow their heads and worship the Lord and just seek the Lord. That is just inspiring, that is heartwarming and that's exactly what took place during youth camp. But it wasn't all churchy. It wasn't all churchy at all. There were different activities. There were games. We had sports day. Yes, much big ups to Lee House, Purple House, which is my house, the winning house. Uh, <laughs> also, we had Camp King and Queen. Yes, we also had the Camp King and Queen competition. And I must say much big ups to all the contestants who broke barriers of fear and doubt. And they were able to enter this competition and all the competitors walked away with something. I must say heartiest congratulations again to our Camp Queen, Kavina Richards, and also our Camp King, Andrew Wright. Congratulations, they are now ambassadors for PCG and they will reign for one year. Mm -hmm. Action. Yes, brothers and sisters, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Sister Royal, how are you feeling right now? Oh gosh, I feel tired, but mm. I'm elated. I don't know 
This is history, you know, sir? History, I tell history you. History made. History so, made. Somebody's saying, what are they talking about? We're talking mm -hmm. about Camp 2022. For the first time in the history of the Jamaica Pentecostal Church of God, we were able to pull off something that almost maybe 80% of persons uh, believe we couldn't do it. But guess what? With the help of God and a wonderful team who worked very hard and, uh, and a set of young people who were energetic mm -hmm. and they believed that we could do it. And guess what? We are at the end of Camp 2022. And I just want to say to all those who supported, thank you very much. Let's talk a little bit about Camp 2022. It was an awesome experience for, you know, we had a lot of sinners. Mm -hmm. A lot of sinners. But you know, Star Royal, I am really impressed with the way the sinners behaved. Trust me, it was very impressive because you would have thought otherwise. Mm -hmm. But yes. trust me, they came in. To be honest, sometimes you wouldn't, couldn't even tell unless it was at the altar call that, oh, that person is not a Christian. Yes, yes. Because the behaviors were on par with what we expected. Mm. So, you know, that was so good. Yes, and we want to say thank you again to all those who helped us, all the pastors who supported, mm -hmm. to our bishop, um, assistant bishop and the, the rest of pastors, we say thank you. Something took place in camp. I mean, I mean... History again, <laughs> I history think. History again. <laughs> we had a baptism. I mean, it was epic. It was awesome. How many persons did we baptize again? We baptized on count 23. 23 uncount. persons. 23 yes. persons. And, and I got a message um, sometime last night, late last night, where somebody was saying their, their child went home because he wasn't feeling well. And the mother was saying, thank you very much. My son said he was going to be baptized, mm -hmm. but he spoke to his pastor and they're going to do it next week, Sunday. Oh my God, this is awesome. 23 persons, young persons mm -hmm. who are excited about God, they were baptized. Man, thank you. To God be the, to glory. God be the glory. And we're looking forward to seeing you next year mm -hmm. at Camp 2023. God bless you. And we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jared Delmore, and today we'll be talking about my experience with Camp 2022. Um, so first things first, um, there's a lot of nice people here, actually. Um, we have Auntie Jolien, and then we have the pastors. Uh, we have like the different like... So there was this one time that we were separated into like the adults and the 18 and under, and then we had... Uh, like somebody who would teach us about like the ways to please God and all that. I think her name was Auntie Shelley Lee. Yeah. She was a very she was very nice. She was very nice. And also I'd like to talk about the food. It's very nice. Uh we had three meals a day, which was really good. Um however, like at night we have we have to go to sleep very late at night and then like we do have to wake up like very, very early for prior meeting but that's not really too much of a problem so, yeah and you can also make like a lot of friends there like I've made so many friends and I have so many new contacts in my contacts in my phone right now like I can't even count them so camp 2022 was really nice and I hope to go back there again another year hello my name is Sophia Stewart my first experience as camp 2022 wow it was a blessing it was a blessing I meet a lot of people I meet sister Lee her husband and pastor Powell his wife wow they are a blessing and this camp oh my god I never see so much young people of appropriate what we said we have a lot of young people or oh, get involved in worship and get up for praise and worship, you know. I love that. I love that about the camp. I love that. I want to keep them together and get so I heard when I leave. I heard that you got 23 souls. Well, it was a blessing. Keep up on the good work, but I'm not coming back. But keep up the good work. <laughs> I will sponsor, I will try sponsor even one person. I will try to do that. So, why not coming back? Yeah, but, camp camp <laughs> but I love it cool, then you're cool and nice. I we walk and tell everybody, the taxi, we go for the taxi, I tell everybody about this camp 2022. Wow. Yes, Alright, Jay, you want to say something? Yeah. Go on, oh. just go on. Go on your grandma's and quickly. Yes, come on, say something. What do you want to say? What
The Pentecostal Church of God Youth Ministry Camp 2022 was amazing. It wasn't just amazing, it was impactful, it was life-changing, it was powerful. There were over 200 campers from across the length and breadth of Jamaica who were in attendance, and these campers were catered for at absolutely no cost to them. They were provided meals and accommodations and got an opportunity to fellowship with young people from different backgrounds, cultures, and personal experiences. Camp provided a space, a safe space for them to express themselves and to ask questions that they've always wanted answers to. They had spiritual empowerment, worship sessions, sports day, evening of elegance in the form of banquets, you know, an amazing worship experience, which resulted in 23 persons being saved at the end of the camp. And that, my friends, is just inspiring and unprecedented. And I know that God was pleased. We continue to pray for this ministry. And I want to use this opportunity to invite you to partner with Reverend Ken Powell of the Pentecostal Church of God Youth Ministry and his dynamic and amazing team because Camp 2023 is coming up. It will come quickly. So if you feel led to contribute to this mission, if you feel led to contribute to this ministry, please reach out to them because it is the little things we do together that cause us to change the world. And I believe that God is raising up this generation to impact generations to come. Cool.